Hi, AccuWeather.com meteorologist Joe Bastardi. What you see here is off Dr. Roy Spencer's site, the University of Alabama Huntsville globally average satellite based temperatures. And this, I think, is the uh, holy grail of objective temperatures where you can see with the satellite, since we got into the satellite era, uh, the temperatures look like you know, we have been on a, uh, you know, a slow, steady trend up over here. And uh, over the last 10 years or so, it's been more like this. But one could argue this El Nino spike is a spe spike there, spike there, though not as warm as what we saw here is significant. But it's my take and my forecast that you see this here and you see this here. We're not only going to that, we're going below that. We may even get back within the next uh, uh, 12 to 18 months back where we were here, which would change, which would definitely tip the scale to it has not warmed over the last 10 years. If we, if we plummet this temperature down into here, all right, after this, then that is, that's going to be a huge deal. And look, folks, you know, I get a kick out of people screaming and yelling about climate models and stuff. And uh, I, I made some predictions that these models would start seeing it, things my way. August, September, October. Now, remember, we've been very warm. Here, I'd say it's probably still 64. Maybe 55, 45, 60, 40 in favor of warm, right? This is warm in here. I can't really tell. The Arctic is cold. Yeah, you people screaming that the ice cap's melting. Uh, and look, folks, I predicted that to happen. We get a big melt year. We wouldn't get to 2007, but go past 2008, 9. It's going to reverse and go the other way in spades, believe me. All right? Next summer's ice will be higher than what we saw in 2009. We won't get near the ice melt that we're getting this year, all right? It's just going to happen, I mean. And now the models are seeing it. So when I see the models coming around and what I'm thinking, when I look at this, well, it's like, what the heck is going on there? Fully 70% of the globe is colder than normal. And what is more important to just really just drive this whole idea back at people Look at the Arctic region. Look at the uh, Antarctic over here. Look at the tropical Pacific. You're liable to get a two or three tenths below normal there uh, uh, with this kind of situation. So this is, this is look, it's about 70% cold, all right? And the cold that's there is certainly the deeper blues are outstripping the reds over here. So now it's going to be interesting. And what you're going to see here, because of uh, the agendas in the, in the United States, you're going to see there are scientists that are arguing against what I'm saying, right, that know this is coming. In other words, they're sitting there going, holy cow, we better do something now because when people get a load of this, look out. But this is what happens when the PDO turns cold. The La Nina does this, and the PDO is still a little bit above normal in its running five or six months stretch, but it's about to go into the dump. When we talk about the PDO, we have to measure it over a longer period of time, but it has ups and downs and everything else. But you can see what's going on. You don't, you don't need me to, I mean, to, to just explain to you, this is cooling down from where it was. This gets really cold. And the reason why is the La Nina that I predicted back in February, had all this lined up, all right, and said, okay, after the El Nino spike in temperatures, look out, here we go, is coming back on gangbusters, and there will be a major global response and it could take us as low as what we were in here after Pinatubo, all right? And the models begin to see it because now that the trend has started, in other words, now that the model says, oh, yeah, there is a La Nina coming on, it's reacting. Now, <laughs> this looks a little bit too strong to me. I mean, it's, it's going overboard here, but uh, certainly an impressive look. And I'm telling you that you're going to see a lot of people that are really going to try to push this because... They're not stupid. They know what's around the corner over here. They should know what's around the corner and get ready for it. All right? You mark what you watch what happens with that ice next year. All right? Now, for those of you who follow me, you know I made certain predictions about global temperatures this winter in spite of all the cold I had in the populated areas. You know I said that the Earth's temperature is going to spike. Now, and I said that the ice was going to melt quite a bit, and I even took some people on my side of the issue to task. You get ready. <laughs>